Hello and welcome back. I'm b -Ball Joe and this is Workercent Resources Soviet Republic. The new beta branch dropped today, 0.8.4.6. That's helicopters, underground mode, and a lot of improvements. Let me show you what they're all about. All right, so first, let me start with the simple things. Um, if you use mods, they now all have the same border, and that's fine, but they also have this little star. If you click that star, they become favorites. And once they're favorites, um, let me find you one that actually makes sense, like a power transformer. This one's already favorited. Um, when they're favorited, you can go to your normal buildings, like here, and then there's a little star here. You can click on that and you see everything that you favorited that fits into this category. So you no longer have to search for all your mods. Great. First thing. Second thing, if you build stuff and you do a lot of planning, let's turn off the rubles just for fun. Do a lot of planning like this and this and... Okay, that's a dirt road, that doesn't count. But I do a couple other things. And you decide, yeah, this is all good. Let's just plan this. This is, this is neat. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, what now? Do you have to click on everything um, to get it started? No, you don't. They added these cool new buttons. Batch auto construction using rubles and dollars. They do exactly what you think they would do. You drag and drop. You say, I want to build all this. And now everything is being built. Super simple. I'm going to turn a cheat mode on so we can actually speed up the construction a little bit. Perfect. But that's what that is. Awesome add-on. Like, just awesome. Um, other things. Curved infrastructure. Not everything is curvable, but some things are. Let's start with this. Only to build uh, the prefab bridge and a concrete bridge, both in electric and non-electric versions. That is new too. Now you have more electric stuff on rails, where the bridges are not automatically electrified anymore. But this is how it works. Actually, it works really, really great. You drag the first piece out. And this is like every other piece of infrastructure. It's always going to be straight. Doesn't matter how long you make it. But the next piece, it just works like you expected. And it's awesome. There, there's nothing else to it. There is these work and they're great. Snapping? Yeah, no problem. Just stay right next to your bridge and snap near the bridge that you want to go. And you will have an interstate system. Super simple. Nothing. There's just nothing. That, that, that's all there is. Um, it just works awesome. Same thing for bridges. They added a new bridge, the truss bridge, which is the only one that can be uh, curved. But same system, same idea. You just drag it out. And then you have a curved bridge now. It's great. I love it. You can even, if you want, run the bridge over itself. Ta-da! It's lovely. I think it's lovely. Um, what else do we need? First, I thought I had unlimited money on, but obviously I don't. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah, what else do we need? Well, let's go down the list. They didn't add a lot of any new buildings, really, but there's a couple new things. There's a helicopter construction office. What do you think that is? Pretty simple. You just build it. And when it's done, um, let's build it. Oh, this is also new. Notifications. I almost forgot about that. Almost all buildings um, that are not just residential now have um, notifications when they're in the building. Actually, no, residentials have them too. But you have to opt in. For example, this one, notify, notify me when finished. Click, build it, notification, construction finished, and you can just say where, where, where. And you go there. And if you don't want to click this button anymore, there's also the delete all messages, which will ask you for a confirmation. Wonderful. This is new building with helis. Yeah, you want to see that, don't you? The problem is, maybe it's a problem, maybe it's not. Here are all the helicopters. Um, helicopters are cargo only. These cannot carry any passengers. That's the biggest one. And then there are regular helicopters that can pa uh, carry passengers and um, cargo. So you pick which one you want. Let's just take two big ones. Great. They look lovely. But these are only two. And honestly, the capacity of 13 tons aluminum or... I don't even know how much this one is carrying. Not that much. It's not very high. So two helicopters will not get you very far. Also, the helicopter construction office 
can only have bulldozers, excavators, um, helicopters, pavers, rollers, snowplow, tow crane. What does that mean? Your helicopter effectively replaces all trucks and all buses. Like any type of uh, transport is gone, but they will transport all of these guys. No problem. Here's the new bulldozer. They added that. Obviously, there are favorites now for all of these vehicles too, so you don't have to find them all the time anymore. So that is lovely. I'm sure I'm going to use that a lot. There's a new bulldozer. Um, works great. Speed 25 compared to speed 27. It just starts out a little earlier than this one, but hey, something new. That's lovely. Um, yeah, that's nice. Also, most of the buildings that have vehicles that are, let's call them working, also now have fuel capacity, so you can drop off fuel there with your DLs, like you normally would. Range, helicopter range is the whole map. For construction, but you have to automatically assign it. The auto, sorry, you have to manually assign it. The auto assignment is still only about 5,000 meters, up to 5,000, no, 3,000, depending what you tell it. But yeah, they can reach the whole map which may be good or bad. Let's stick here. What happens if you need more than two helicopters? No problem. Um, go to your infrastructure. There's a new tab now for airplanes. And down here, you have a bunch of heliports. What you want, if you want more helicopters available, click the heliports three times or one time is fine. And then most of the buildings, no, every building that supports helicopter platforms or helicopters period, has these little green dots around them. It's like the um, airport does the same thing. All you have to make sure is that when you place these, they actually connect. Connect it there, connect it there, connect it there, connect it there. You get the point. You can add as many helicopters as you can fit around the building. Um, so let's build all that. Use a cute little batch. Start the time. Perfect. And now, you are still limited to the mechanisms that the construction office can handle. So you can fill all of this up with helicopters, that's fine, but you can only place up to four by three. Um, this is 12, 13, 14. 14 is your max. So keep that in mind, but you can now just go in and add more helicopters until you don't have any more room. So this is your max per construction office. Great. Next thing. It's a construction office, so you still have to assign all of these things. And that one I struggled with a little bit at the very beginning because I didn't understand it. So let me show you. Heliport passenger. It's just like a passenger platform. There's nothing else to it. Works just fine. And you place it like that, and when it's done, all you have to do is tell your um, construction office to go there, and then this counts. Great. The thing that was a little more complicated find a concrete plant and asphalt when they are built you also need you also need i need to get more money i, I didn't realize that it didn't turn on uh, infinite money that's okay cancel contract build it with ruble cool Oh, I'm out of ruble. I'm not out of dollars. That's my problem. Uh, let's go here. Um, add ruble. This many. That should get us done. Okay, so they're here. Get to your construction office. And you can specify them, but it tells you this building don't have connect, uh, connected any heliports. All right. The English is not perfect, but we don't really care. So you can't assign these right now. What you have to do is go to your heliport and use a cargo heliport. And you can use a triple or a um, single there, but it has to be cargo. It has to be a normal heliport. It can be a triple or non-triple. And again, here you have the little green dots around them. So you can just place them by placing this close enough. I haven't tried connecting both of them at the same time. I would say you probably can. Let's see, construction office, asphalt plant. Okay, so you have to place, you have to get, just get lucky to place both of them at the same time. And then it may work. But for right now, it's only connected to one. You have to connect both of them. So let's do that. I'll just use a regular heliport here. And then you can say, hey guys, I need you to get concrete from there and asphalt from there. And now they're assigned. Very similar heliport. This one is just the big cargo place. 
um, works just like we talked about, but this one can actually get everything. So there's a warehouse, there's an open storage, and then there's also going to be an aggregate storage. All of these need to be connected, and then you can tell these guys, hey, this is where you get the rest. And now you can build everything. You just have to supply all the supplies here. Perfect. Super simple, nothing complicated. This is how it works. Similar for fire station and hospital. Both of these also support helicopters now, but they're a little different. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, wrong thing. There we go. Um, again, you can have as many as you want, and that's great. Um, here, you can buy helicopters, you can buy helicopters. That is all fine. Fire trucks, same thing. There's one spot for a helicopter, you can get it now. The fire station helicopter has a range of a little over two kilometers. I believe it's 2,200 meters. Um, th they're adjusting that, so that may change. But the fire station requires, you see those blue dots? The fire station requires water to be in range because the helicopter will go to a water source first and then it will put out the fire. So let's do that. Let's interact with this item, action with object, start fire. Cool. There's another notification. The only thing that's weird right now to me is you don't need firefighters for a helicopter to fight a fire. So you don't need a pilot. That may change. So don't don't hope that's that's gonna be that way. But there's a helicopter. I'm gonna pick up some water. Looks pretty cool. Pulls out the water there, and then puts out the, the fire here. Super straightforward, works great. Mechanic is awesome. The range, I don't think it's going to be final the way it is right now, but right now it's about 2,200 meters. Cool. What else is there to see? Well, pipelines. They're underground pipes now. And there's an underground mode, if you care about that. Looks like this. Um, you can build underground stuff in the um, underground mode or without it. Doesn't matter. But here you can actually see it. There's length that's too long, so 300 meters for this pipeline. Cool. Build that. Just goes in the ground. If you go look on this side, there are now these tiny little huts, shacks, whatever you want to call them. And um, they will always be there as long um, as is the end of the pipe. So you can fix that by connecting pipes again on this side. Um, again, there's a length requirement, but that goes away as you build them. So this is nice. The other thing that I want to show you... Um, pipes. Let's plan one. Plan a, plan a couple pipes here. Um, they're in planning mode. Great. They're not built yet. You cannot build over pipes while they're in planning mode. You cannot. You cannot build over any underground infrastructure while they're uh, while they're planned. Once they're completed, like down here, no problem. You can build on top of it. But you have to complete the construction before you can do anything to the underground. That's important. And it doesn't matter what you want to place there. You can place... Um, I think it's just road infrastructure. I don't know... No, you can place anything on top of it. Sorry. I was confusing myself. And the reason why you can't build on top of... Um, underground pipes that aren't planning is this and I'll try to show you that as good as I can um, The animations that happen Go back to where it is pipes. Yes built the animations that happen When we start it are above ground So everything has to be built with room above ground before you can do anything. So this is what happens. That's the way it is um, I think it's totally fine an exception that I found that may be fixed eventually, underground pedestrian passes and above ground. Um, don't seem to care. Let's see, with this one, they're not auto-connected right now, that's okay. Oh, they're not building, that's my problem. Um, built one here, that's built, cool. Built one here. The tunnel can be built under stuff when it already exists. So keep that in mind. You can add pedestrian underpasses, but you cannot add any of the other underground structures. Then pedestrian overpass, that's just fun. It works, it works great, it's awesome. You can use it for all types of things and it's just 
It's just lovely. There's two styles, if you care. There's steel and there is non-steel. But I, I think this is just great. You can build so many things with this now. I'm excited. Um, I don't think there are many other improvements. Well, there's a new building. There's a gas power plant. There's actually there's several new buildings. Gas power plant uses oil at this point, crude oil, but that may change. It's supposed to use gas, um, but they haven't implemented gas yet. So therefore it's using oil. Additionally, there is a solar power plant. Looks like this. Um, when you play with this, you will see that the solar power plant right now is priced pretty much the same as a coal power plant. Um, but the output is a third. So keep that in mind, but you can go green. And then these two I'm really excited about. The wind power plants, or turbines if you want to call them. Two different sizes, two different outputs. Um, and they depend on the wind. You can click up here to see the wind speed. You can see the sun. And then it could also be raining. So the more sun there is, the more um, this works, but this requires workers. These turbines will only turn if you actually use any of the power. There are no workers required, which is awesome. And yes, you can combine um, turbines into your network. What I mean by that, you can just build your normal power transformers like you normally would and connect them all in. Um, the medium voltage. You don't need this one, like half a, half a megawatt each of them. But you can connect all um, substations like this. And when you do that, um, it becomes part of the network. And then you can just run it from here. So yes, you can use these as collection station for power. The other thing that's really cool, and I th find this very helpful, is these guys, the overlay. And I'm sorry, you cannot see all of it. But the posts or the pillars now show you green to yellow to red. If it's red, it's overloaded. Everything below that is fine. What does that mean? Well, you can diagnose what your problems are with your power now, which is awesome. And it does it for megawatts and for voltage. And then heat does something very similar, um, just the way it's always been doing it. But for power overlay, you can actually see now what's going on. I think that covers everything that was added that is not just like hidden things. Like for example, here, there are more notifications on these buildings. Just look at them. If there are notifications that you care about, check them. If there aren't, don't check them. Very simple. When you build buildings, you get notifications now if the ambulance didn't make it out there in time, but those are um, just automatic notifications. Overall, there are a lot more notifications now that you have that you will get that you didn't get before. Um, I'm sure that's a work in progress. So, yeah. I think that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is the new version. This is 0.8.4. Point six, and that's all we have. Thank you guys. Bye.